Transformers yet has arrived on Paramount Plus. This is gonna be fun, man. Transformers PG-13 now streaming on Paramount Plus. What you're about to see is real. Let's go! So many lies in that house. I was diabolical. That's just the beginning. The new season of Big Brother Wednesday at 8, 7 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus. To watch more episodes of Let's Make a Deal, get the CBS app now. Welcome back. All right, time for a quickie deal. Ma'am, you stand up, please. What's your name? Mama Helene Francis, and I love you. Nice to meet you, Miss Helene. Now, do you follow us on Twitter? Okay, you do? Yes, I do. Well, good. Because you know that when we ask you for something from Twitter, we give you $500. Right, right. Okay, except today. Oh. We'll give you $10,000. Oh, do you have a business card? Yes. Get the EMT ready. Pleasure. We gave it away to you, Miss Aline. Ten thousand. I'm so happy. That's all the time that we have for today, folks. Thank you so much. Congratulations to our winners. We love the Mega Money Monday. More let's make a deal. The next time you see us from Cat, Tiffany, Jonathan, I'm Wayne. Bye bye. Thanks for playing, everybody. Take care. Bye. This is one of the few places you can go in America where strangers root for another stranger to do well. Come on down! You're the next contestants on The Price is Right! Great prizes and fun. Yes, you got it! Now what a show! The Price is Right, weekdays on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. We know this community by heart. I'm Yuki, and I call home West Philly and Dover Dover. I'm Jessica, a Penn State grad, and Wayne is my home. CBS News, the little. Finding heart in every beat. The best Transformers yet has arrived on Paramount Plus. This is gonna be fun, man. Transformers, PG-13, now streaming on Paramount Plus. <laughs> There's one comedy that's a proven hit among both the living. Are you not seeing right now? No. And the not so living. I can't believe some people think this stuff is real. Hey, here goes. Well, that's a fair point. Ghosts. Thursdays on CBS and catch up anytime on Paramount Plus. Welcome back, everybody. Patricia and David. We're going to start with you. You bet $30,100. Actual price is. Thirty-five thousand seven twenty-two difference of five thousand six twenty-two. And if Mary, you bid thirty-three thousand five hundred dollars. Actual price thirty thousand five oh nine. You were just over. David, Patricia, guess what? Dance lessons. Trip to Charleston. What a pleasure. God bless you. Take care of yourself. Lots of love to you. Man, what a sweet show, huh? Uh, these guys won $37,782 of the prizes. Thanks for watching and sharing the love with everybody in the room. Please get your pet spayed or neutered to help control the pet population and take care of yourself so we can see you next time on The Price is Right. Lots of love to all of you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. is right a Fremantle production what you're about to see is real let's go so many lies in that house I was diabolical That's just the beginning. The new season of Big Brother Wednesday at 8, 7 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus.
get ready to DBS Reality Titans. Battle it out with MTV Challenge Legends for the ultimate prize of half a million dollars. Who has what it takes to become America's best? This is the Challenge USA. What you're about to see is real. No scripts, no actors, and no second takes. Every action will be recorded by these cameras, believe me. There's absolutely no place to hide. This is unreal. Oh my god. Who would want to subject themselves to all this? No, I am a cutthroat person. The new season of Big Brother starts Wednesday at 8, 7 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Wednesday, August 9th, America's biggest super fans meet their superstar idols yeah! and compete for a once-in-a-lifetime prize yeah, and the title of ultimate super fan. It is up to you, America. Super fan premieres Wednesday, August 9th on CBS. Who has what it takes to become America's best? This is the Challenge USA. We know this community by heart. I'm Yuki, and I call home West Philly and Dover, Dover. I'm Jessica, a Penn State grad, and Wayne is my home. CBS News, Philadelphia. Finding heart in every beat. No actors and no second takes. Oh my god, this is amazing! Their every action will be recorded by these cameras, believe me. There's absolutely no place to hide. This is unreal. Oh my god. I can't believe it. This is a lie and you need to stand up for yourself! That's why I'm trying to play this game the right way! Shut up. Dude, do you want to have, like, a fist fight? Mm -hmm. You're a conniving, evil little witch. Really? Bring it! It's been a summer of unexpected twists and unbelievable drama. Will you marry me? Yes, yes. <laughs> Expect the unexpected. Who would want to subject themselves to all this? No, I am a cutthroat person. The new season of Big Brother starts Wednesday at 8, 7 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Wednesday, August 9th, America's biggest super fans meet their superstar idols yeah! and compete for a once-in-a-lifetime prize yeah, and the title of ultimate super fan. It is up to you, America. Super fan premieres Wednesday, August 9th on CBS. <laughs> the perfect show to spice up your summer. Somewhere in here is a connection. Drop me a pin and I'm there. We are going to put every single one of them behind bars. Oh snap, your mom is a killer. Spend your summer with So Help Me Todd. Thursdays on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Flirting with the girls? Yay! I'm a starving artist. I need that money. I'm gonna give you guys a shout. Whoa! Hollywood, here I come! The new season of Big Brother starts Wednesday at 8, 7 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. This is not Big Brother. 
People are coming for blood, and it's going to get ugly. The Challenge USA is back August 10th on CBS. You are not in Kansas anymore. CBS Reality Titans. This is really a redemption season for me. Battle it out with legends of the Challenge franchise. Once I get an opportunity to take these bets out, I am going to take it. Who has what it takes to win the ultimate prize of $500,000? Let's get to this money! The Challenge USA. New season premieres Thursday, August 10th on CBS. MTS! You remember us? Mondays. Go, go, go! You're not safe here. We need to go now. NCIS and NCIS Hawaii. Mondays on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Secret Celebrity Renovation Season Premiere Friday at 8, 7 Central on CBS. The Emmy-nominated Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Weeknights on CBS. Straight ahead, a South Jersey woman stuck in a well. How firefighters got her out. If you did enjoy Monday, hopefully you'll have a chance to enjoy Tuesday and Wednesday. Beautiful weather. We're going to track it at 11. The Emmy nominated Late Show with Stephen Colbert, weeknights on CBS. CBS! You remember us? Mondays. Go, go, go. You're not safe here. We need to go now. NCIS and NCIS Hawaii, Mondays on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus. The new season of Big Brother Wednesday, 8, 7 Central on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for being on the show and good luck to you in the decisions you make. Hope you find some happiness. You know, when family members are fighting over the same man or woman, no one wins, least of all the person who's being fought over. As ego gratifying as it may be for the person being chased, the reality of being pursued by someone who would dog a family member for a potential lover suggests a character flaw which might well reappear once you're finally together with a pursuer. What long-term possibilities does a relationship have when your mate is so me-first driven, I'll get what I'm after, the hell with who around me gets hurt? You see, if there really is love, it will win out without having to resort to a campaign of deceit and trickery. That is to say, trying to outdo the competition at any price. If there really is love, you don't have to abandon your principles, and you should never abandon your family. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. The show, you know what? If you're like Tiana here and you're in love with two of the same family members and you just don't know who to pick, and you want to come on the Jerry Springer show to talk about it, we'll go to jerryspringertv.com, click on the tell Todd button, email me your information, and we'll put you on the show. Come experience the Steve Wilco show live. For free tickets, visit stevewilcos.com or call 1 877 74 Steve. You've been accused of molesting Elaine's son for a long time. So you came here to clear your name and you took a lie detector test and we asked you, did you ever sexually molest Elaine's son when he was five years old? You answered no. We gave you three polygraph tests mm -hmm. and the results of your lie detector test is you did not tell the truth. That's 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 all I wanted to hear. Why? Why would you run? Why would you run? Give me another test. We gave you three. I would never three. touch a child. I would never molest a child. We gave you three deception indicators. I would never molest a child. I ain't been molested. Why would I do that to a child? You got away with it for so long. No, I did not. I did not get away with it because I did not do it. You don't. Five-year-old boys are not going to say that. I did not do that. Okay. I did not. I'm everything I love. I have never done anything like that. I would never do it because I don't know what it's like to be molested. Well, I know. Now you failed. I failed. Well, 
No, you know what? You get out of here. Bye. Well, I, I know it's, uh, it, it, you already knew the answer. So it's not like you're hearing something for the first time. Uh, the good thing is this happened a, while, uh, happened a while ago. I hope your son's getting the help that he needs. We're gonna bring Dan out right now to explain her test. So Steve, I conducted three single issue integrated zone comparison tests, same test the FBI and the police would run. In conducting those three tests, she needs a plus six or higher to pass, a minus six or lower to fail. Her score was minus 20. No doubt about it, Steve. Um, you wonder why, you know, she got away with it. What's her motivation to come on? Sometimes people want to be exposed, Steve, and they're just scared to pull the trigger themselves. They come out here, we expose them, and that's the relief that they get. Thanks, Thank you, Steve. Can I shake your hand? Thank you very much. Okay. I really appreciate that. Um, I know this is going to be very hurtful for you because she wanted to come on and... She brought me on here. Right. And the good thing is, I hope your son's doing well. I hope you'll be great parents to him. You are very and, well, and, and you're so very well. Because you know why? He got all A's and B's. And you know what? I'm going to tell you something. Man. I'm glad that she got justice. It wasn't about that. It's, the point of it is this. I know you did it. These two have called me up. And they told me that you did it. And here it is. We just want to find out if you did it or not. Here it is. You did it. You made yourself look like a fool on national TV by lying. Well, I hope and I told her, lie detectors don't lie. I hope you go back to justice. Good luck PHL17.com, available on the PHL app. Download today. I can tell you guys why you lied about a lot of things, why you're doing the things that you're doing. Because whether you want to stand there in a minute or not, I think you're not over her. You're hurtful that she wouldn't take you back, that she broke up your family. You're a young guy. It's understandable. But what is not understandable, understandable what's not forgivable, is to get your child taken away out of spite. And put in the system. Uh, put in the system out of spite. You're making your son suffer. She making him suffer. <laughs> You're the only one lying up here. <laughs> hey. hey, hey, hey. What's up? I said it is what it is. Honestly. You feel me? She wanna come on here and tell the business to tell our business to the world. That's what you get. Come on. You feel me? I got better stuff. Ain't no hour business. I just, I just <laughs> missed the whole CPS case. If, I was, if I was accused of neglecting my son, abusing my son, I want the world to know too. I want to know the truth that I don't do that. She's doing the same thing. She doesn't want to be uh, known to uh, neglect her child, to abuse her child. She hasn't done any of these things. Knowing that you came on the show. And then you lied about all these things about her, that you falsely called CPS, got your son taken away from his mother. And even as cold-hearted as most people could be, I don't want to believe that in you. A lot of times I really don't. 
Your son, every child wants their mother, especially when they're real small. They all want their mother. So knowing everything that you did, is there anything you want to say to her now? I apologize. I just want to be a father to my friend. That's all I ask you. Okay, and isn't that what I want you to do? Anytime you, you call for him, you get him. You keep him for as long as you want him. I let you do that. Now, what I didn't do is let you sign the birth certificate because of stuff like this. What I would do is I would do everything in your power. If if you could rise above it, you, you got off to a good start by apologizing to it, which you need to do, and I'm glad you did that. Right. But when you go home, you need to work with CPS and tell them that you did lie, that you made up some stories, and that she needs to get, you know, her son, your son back. Right. You need to put your son first, always, foremost. But I always tell them, Steve, I, I'm like, Marcella's a good mother. I know she is. She's been a good well, mother. Well, now go back and say that. That's after, time. that's after the fact that I did what I did wrong. You feel me? Listen. I'm not, I'm not here to pass judgment and beat you up over what you did. Right. I want you to go back and get your son out of foster care. Please. And back with his mother. Okay? the top stories on PHL 17 Morning News. Developing for you this morning in southwest Philadelphia, a scepter trolley has crashed into a building. You see the damage to that building. That is the historic Bluebell Inn that opened in 1766. Saturday has scattered thunderstorms giving way to cooler temperatures into the low 80s, heading into next week with a beautiful start. PHL 17 Morning News now available on YouTube TV and Hulu. Watch, like, share, and repeat. The drama, the conflict, and the fraternity results. Mari continues. I want to thank all of my guests for joining me. I want to thank everybody who watches the show every day. But especially, I want to thank my live studio. throws at you. Stay ahead with a PHL 17 weather source with meteorologist Monica Cryan and meteorologist Adam Joseph. Stay connected with a PHL 17 weather source. Close captioning made available by When the lunches you pack with love are filled with quality ingredients. When you can celebrate big wins with low prices. And when saving on easy dinners together bring everyone a smile. That's totally Target. Protect your dog from fleas and ticks with NextGuard Chews, the protection that's number one with dogs. Use with caution in dogs with a history of seizures or neurologic disorders. For a limited time, get up to a two-month rebate when you buy 12 doses of both NextGuard Chews and HeartGuard Plus Chews from your vet. Terms apply. So after getting three combs and a brush stuck in Diane's hair, mm -hmm. I had to call in the only woman left in this house that was still talking to me. Stop chugging. Oh, she's tender-headed. Thank you. He ignored my screams. Ah, I really screwed this up, Zoe. Yeah, you really did. By trying to make mom and grandma equal, you've created an emotional half-fro. Interesting metaphor. Yeah, here's the thing about girls, Dad. You can only have one number one at a time. Mm. First, it's your mom. Then it's your wife. Then it's the daughter you leave all your money to when you die. Point is, anything else violates the natural order. Natural order? We might be on to something. Good luck with that mess. Help me. Wow. Looks amazing. Well, you are not getting so much as a nip until you admit I have medically diagnosed chronic bronchitis. Mom, you raised me to be strong. You gave me the tools to survive and succeed in a hard world, and I wouldn't be half the man I am today without the wisdom you instilled in me. 
Now there's my Andre. <laughs> and Ma, that wisdom is telling me to tell you right now to back off when it comes to Bo. You mean the spot stealer? Now, first of all, it's my spot, all right? And Bo is my wife of 16 years. You will always be my mother. But Bo is my number one for now and forever. Aww. Thank you, baby. Oh. Looks awesome, Grandma. Let's eat. Oh, oh, hey, 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 kids. Slow your roll. Slow your roll, all right? Tonight, we're going to eat your mother's little red pebbles. It's quinoa. Yeah, so it is. Yes, quinoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, 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 Jack. Hide that meatloaf in my car. Ooh. Looks like I raised you an amazing husband. You're welcome. Closed captioning made available by. When the lunches you pack with love are filled with quality ingredients. When you can celebrate big wins with low prices. And when saving on easy dinners together bring everyone a smile. That's totally Target. Protect your dog from fleas and ticks with Next Guard Shoes, the protection that's number one with dogs. Use with caution in dogs with a history of seizures or neurologic disorders. For a limited time, get up to a two-month rebate when you buy 12 doses of both Next Guard Shoes and Heart Guard Plus Shoes from your vet. Terms apply. We build it up and build it up and build it up because it's solid. Solid as a rock. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Want me to do another one? Uh, do you want to do another one? Only if you want me to do another one. I want what you want, baby. Okay. Yes or no? I'm embarrassing myself. Yeah, I really, really don't understand the rules. That's a no. I'm doing another one. Return to menu. You're a man, I think he's in love with me. Well, this time I'm actually gonna get a haircut. I had a little accident. Uh-oh, what happened? Well, I was sewing and got to daydreaming. Get that hat off and see what we're dealing with. I don't want to. Oh, well, come on. I've been doing this a long time. I promise you I've seen worse. It's not bad at all. Tonight at 6 and 7.30. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> really good. Georgie's going to come to the wedding. Oh, that's great. Why aren't you looking at the camera? Oh, you know, I'm just working on my peripheral vision. <laughs> well, that is nonsense. Your peripheral vision is fine. Are those women's magazines making you feel bad about yourself again? Yep, that is what's happening. I have told you before, those women are airbrushed to make it look like they have good vision. Hey, I, I was thinking, now that you and your brother made up, there's no reason to rush home. You know, maybe you and Leonard could, could stay for, uh... 
two to three more fun-filled days there. That's a great idea. Hey, Leonard, good news. We do have time to visit the Museum of the American Railroad. I'd say no, but what's the point? You might not want to get too close. Pink eye. Me too! <laughs> Back to you, you? Yeah. Same! <laughs> I, I know this is going to sound crazy, but... Would you be interested in going to a wedding with me? PHL 17, now available on YouTube TV. Ah, oh, I'm so glad the police finally caught that psychotic, genetically engineered ape. That is my girlfriend, I swear to God. PHL 17, now available on YouTube TV. Gregarious, sociable, sociable, friendly. Wow, are you still studying? Even better. According to science, if I play this tape on a loop as I sleep, my brain will sponge up all the information, then boom, my days are still free to be awesome. Why can't you just do things like a normal person? I guess I'm just a character. See in the morning, knowledge. Intrepid. Fearless. <gasps> Wait. Erica, come quick. I'm the smartest man in the world. Ask me anything. What does gregarious mean? To be like Greg. Who's Greg? Ah, oh, didn't work. <laughs> Another D? Jake, what is wrong with you? Well, I have Siri. <laughs> oh, really? Another one, do tell. I'm crack baby. <laughs> Can't you genius? stories in your community philadelphia police were called to center city tonight the news that impacts your life the tense lightning hail the strong wind spend your evenings with a team to trust at 10. for what I said last night. Okay. She's apologizing to who? To me. Why? I no idea. <laughs> Honey, um, I'm the one who should be apologizing. No, it was my fault. I should have told Gregory about the baby, but I was too scared. I understand. Just know that Grandma and I will always lie for you. But you gotta give us a heads up. Tell her lines what makes us a family. <laughs> so, how's it going with Gregory? Not good. 
good. He's real upset. Violet, not that you asked for my opinion. Oh, boy. <laughs> but in my experience, when you screw up and get caught, something I've done a lot, it's usually best to take responsibility and deal with the consequences. <laughs> you think he'll forgive me? Honey, you're 22 years younger than he is. He'd forgive you for burning down his house. You might be right. You might be right. <laughs> More importantly, Violet, do you want to stay with Gregory? I do. Well, then, if you hang in there and work it out, I guarantee you'll have him giggling again in no time. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you too. You've become a good mom. Thank you. I'm not gonna say it back. Too, but she said the casting people had some problems with me. Oh. What kind of problem? But to tell you the truth, they uh, they had a problem with the bad. Oh my God! Joey, I think it's time to give up the bag. I don't want to give up the bag. I don't have to give up the bag, do I, bitch? <laughs> you think I should give up the bag? Wait, Joey, I just don't know if the world is ready. For you and your bag. I can't believe I'm hearing this. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not saying that you shouldn't have a bag. I, I, I just, it's just there are other bags, you know, that are maybe a little less uh, controversial. <laughs> yeah, um, they're called wallets. <laughs> Philadelphia, are you ready for something new? The CW is coming Friday, September 1st to PHL 17. A new place for a new rock. I'm going to have you and all the guys from work over once it's, you know, furnished. I must say, it's nice to see you back on your feet. Well, I am that. <laughs> and that whole rage thing is definitely behind me. I wonder if it's time for you to rejoin our team at the museum. Oh, Donald, that, that would be great. I am totally ready to come back to work. I... What? No. Let's make a deal version of Oz. It is the better, more improved version of Oz. We love the that. The the doors. Well, well, Karen, you know what? I will give you $400 if you have a pair of gold-colored shoes 
$300 if you have a pair of green colored shoes and $200 if you have a dog. Okay. Jonathan. Tammy and Jim. Tammy and Jim. Hello. Tammy and Jim. I will give you $400 for a pair of green dog shoes. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Tammy and Jim, uh, you look French to me, so here's what I'm going to offer you. I'm going to give you $400 if you can show me two things, a wine glass and a piece of bread. A Karen and Aunt. for your little friend. Thank you, Karen. Jim is back, and Tammy is back as well. Do you have a wine glass and a piece of bread? Okay, so $400. Good job, Tammy and Jim. That's all the time we have from Cat, Tiffany, Jonathan, and Wayne. We'll see you all next time right here on Let's Make a Deal. Bye-bye, y'all. Take care, everybody. <laughs> Party in the Big Brother House. Let's go! The new season of Big Brother, tonight at 8, 7 Central on CBS. Have you ever seen the Drew Barrymore show? I like it. Yeah! I love it. It's fun. I love being silly. <laughs> this is the best talk show I've had, Bob. Tomorrow at 9.30 on CBS Philadelphia. Don't have your trails tickets yet? Oh. You're not as cool as I thought you were. Oh, no, no, hey, man, hey, 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 no, we're kidding. Get your tickets now. Now play only Peters. Discover the perfect show to spice up your summer. Somewhere in here is a connection. Drop me a pen and I'm there. We are going to put every single one of them behind bars. Oh, snap, your mom is a killer. Spend your summer with So Help Me Todd. Thursdays on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Martino, we're going to start with you. Hot tub, trip to Georgia, and a Harley Davidson. Uh, man, you got excited about that Harley. I remember that. $26,500 was your bid. Actual price, $32,837. Difference of 6337 Mickey, how you feeling? You had a couple tablets in your showcase. Trip to Iceland, and... Uh, Chevy Camaro, Chevy Camaro, you bid $42,500. Actual price, $35,375. You are over. Martino, you got yourself a brand new Harley. Congratulations. Congratulations. Martino just won $39,667 of the prize. Thanks for watching the show, everybody. Really appreciate us being TV friends. Thanks for showing up and making my day better by being part of our audience. Please get your pet spayed or neutered, help control the pet population, and uh, take care of yourself because we'd like to see you again here on The Price of Life. Love you all. Bye. Speaking for The Price is Right, a Fremantle production. We are giving things away, hallelujah! Money, $10,000 in cash! And it's a trip to Puerto Rico! Thanks to the game, but we gave you a show! This is the best game show in the whole world! Let's make it! We need to move cautiously on this. Let's get to work. We gotta find this guy fast. Is it always gonna be like this? Action, action, action. This guy is desperate and dangerous. We're gonna find who did this. The latest seasons of the FBI is on demand and streaming on Paramount Plus. I'm Jim Donovan. Next at noon, the local mayor who could face time behind bars. Plus, another curfew crackdown. The new rules going into effect tonight in a short town. Andrew. Gorgeous sunshine on this Wednesday, but we have some changes. You know where it's going to last. I'll have a complete look at your full forecast, including your next chance of storms. Coming up.
and a Lizzo lawsuit to the surprising accusations against the singer from some of her former dancers. Meet the local boy who's on a mission with his very special hairstyle. The news at noon starts in 60 seconds. No way. I'm like shaking. This is where I've watched all of these players. Let's play Big Brother! I am so excited to be here. I'm a super fan and I'm ready to go. I will be flirting with the girls. Yay! I'm a starving artist. I need that money. I'm going to give you guys a show. Oh. The new season of Big Brother starts tonight at 8, 7 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Secret Celebrity Renovation is back with a two-hour premiere. It's time to go. Two of your favorite CBS stars. It was important for me to honor her. Hi, Josh. This is for you, buddy. Salute some very special friends. Yeah, you're welcome home. You have no idea how much this takes off my shoulders. With some of the biggest renovations yet. <gasps> this is magic. Secret Celebrity Renovation. Season premiere Friday, 8, 7 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. This is not Big Brother. People are coming for blood, and it's going to get ugly. The Challenge USA is back August 10th on CBS. You are not Kansas anymore. CBS reality type. This is really a redemption season for me. Battle it out with Legends of the Challenge franchise. Once I get an opportunity to take these guys out, I am going to take it. Who has what it takes to win the ultimate prize of $500,000? Let's get this money! The Challenge USA. New season premieres Thursday, August 10th on CBS. Hey, I'm Ashley Harder, and this week we set our sights on Philly's only archery ring. This is all meant to be fun. There's something about like learning something new that's really cool. We're going on an orange job later. Find out how they aim to share their passion for this ancient sport. Don't have your tourist tickets yet? Oh, you're not as cool as I thought you were. Oh, no, no, hey, man, hey, 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 no, we're kidding. Get your tickets now. Now play only Peters. Oh is going to live in the Big Brother house. I am a bulldog with blonde hair. I am not afraid. Mike Tyson said it best. Everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the mouth. When you least expect it, I'm going to stab you in the back and take all your money. You're going to use my laugh to win a whole bunch of money. <laughs> the new season of Big Brother, tonight at 8, 7 central on CBS. Brought you super bad and neighbors comes the funniest comedy of the year. Hey! Oh. It crushes for absolutely every age. Wow, y'all just went full Jason Statham in here. Ninja Turtles now play in Peter CPG. Everybody work! Survivor's ready! Go! In this game, you're looking to make moves. It's the greatest game in the world. The biggest season of the greatest game ever played. New season of Survivor, Wednesday, September 27th on CBS. Welcome back to the live season premiere of Big Brother. Tune in to an action-packed Sunday as we crown the first head of household of the season. What would their power be now that they are already four nominees in place? Plus, find out just what happened to Corey. Then on Wednesday, the power veto plays out and has the ability to save one nominee. Who will win and will they use it? Then next Thursday is the first live vote and eviction of the season. Who will claim the dubious title of first sent home? Find out next Thursday. To continue watching all the drama, go to Paramount Plus or Pluto TV, where you can watch the house guests 24 seven, unfiltered and live. The feeds kick off tonight at 9.30 Pacific time. For now, let's return to the backyard and see what the Scrambleverse has in store for the house guests now. House guests, I hope you've had a wonderful premiere night. I will see you all soon, so please feel free to head inside and make yourself at home. Good night, house guests.
So the scramble verse is at it again. For the first time ever, a survivor legend will be playing Big Brother. That's right. Siri will be the 17th house guest battling for the three quarter million dollar grand prize. How will her connection to one of the other house guests play out? Find out Sunday. For now, let's eavesdrop on the house guests. From outside the Big Brother house, I'm Julie Chen Moonves. Love one another and good night. is going to live in the Big Brother house. I am a bulldog with blonde hair, and I am not afraid. Mike Tyson said it best. Everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the mouth. When you least expect it, I'm going to stab you in the back and take all your money. I'm going to use my laugh to win a whole bunch of money. <laughs> a new Big Brother, Sunday on CBS. This is not Big Brother. People are coming for blood, and it's going to get ugly. The Challenge USA is back August 10th on CBS. You are not in Kansas anymore. CBS Reality Titans. This is really a redemption season for me. Battle it out with legends of the Challenge franchise. Once I get an opportunity to take these bets out, I am going to take it. Who has what it takes to win the ultimate prize of $500,000? Let's get to this money! The Challenge USA. New season premieres Thursday, August 10th on CBS. is going to live in the Big Brother house. I am a bulldog with blonde hair, and I am not afraid. Mike Tyson said it best. Everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the mouth. When you least expect it, I'm going to stab you in the back and take all your money. I'm going to use my laugh to win a whole bunch of money. <laughs> a new Big Brother, Sunday on CBS. Colbert's got Jennifer Hudson <laughs> tonight on the Emmy-nominated Late Show. Tonight, a salute to a fallen NYPD officer, the tribute to the off-duty cop killed in a tragedy. And what we're learning about a conversation between the Gilgo Beach murder suspect and his wife. Colbert's got Jennifer Hudson tonight on the Emmy-nominated Late Show. Fridays on CBS and binge every episode on Paramount Plus. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for being on the show and, and good luck to you. I hope you can find some happiness in your relationships. You know, sometimes it seems as if we treat everyone else in the world better than our own family members. Perhaps it's because the closeness increases the intensity of any feeling. Surely love, but also anger, and sometimes even hate. Family members hurting their own where it hurts the most, interfering in the most intimate and valued relationships. There may well be some justification for how the interference first came about, but when it becomes clear how much a loved family member is being hurt, you do need to be asking, why should I go on hurting this person I love? Isn't there a way to alleviate their pain? Not all family conflicts are unavoidable, but the ones we witnessed today, well, it doesn't seem that the parties are going out of their way not to hurt their loved ones. It's time to put the past behind, and each of our guests must ask themselves, what can I do to ease the pain? Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. Monica Cryan and Jenna Meisner are the Delco Duo, the show that gives you free advice with the Delco Spin, Saturdays at 11.30 after Weekend Filler on PHL 17, brought to you by Harris Philadelphia, where Philly comes out to play. The Lift Golf season continues live on the old white at Greenbrier, as Taylor Gooch looks to hold off Brooks Kepka and Cam Smith in the chase for the title. It's unbelievable. You gotta go out and win it. Live Golf Greenbrier. Live Golf. Saturday and Sunday at 1 on PHL 17. Nicole, we asked you, 
Did you have any knowledge of Lewis sexually molesting any of your children? You answered no. Have you ever witnessed Lewis hitting any of your children leaving marks or bruises? You answered no. Have you ever hit any of your children leaving marks or bruises? You answered no. The results for your lie detector test came back all the same, and they came back that you, Nicole, told the truth. <laughs> But we forgot one question on there. Would you be willing to do anything to get your kids back? We didn't ask that one. And the answer would be no. <laughs> yeah, you're okay seeing your kids occasionally. Okay. Lewis came here. And uh, we asked him about the abuse. Have you ever hit any of Nicole's three daughters leaving marks or bruises? He answered no. Have you ever hit any of Nicole's three daughters causing any type of injury? He answered no. And the results of those two questions is Lewis told the truth. <laughs> Lewis the one on the hand uh, section of the lie detector test concerning molestation. Lewis was asked, have you ever touched any of these three girls for your own sexual gratification? The answer is no. Have you ever had any sexual physical contact with any of those three girls? You answer no. And the results are Lewis, they came back the same, and Lewis told the truth. <laughs> It is nice to see two people that are deeply in love because most people don't find it um, and if they do they're very fortunate uh, but I always felt that once you have kids that's your number one commitment in life and uh, and, I, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart I hope this helps you get your kids back I hope that you can be a family again but no that you've made the wrong decision all this time for about 18 months now you've chose each other over your kids and that's a bad decision and especially kids because you know Lewis can lay there at night and he's a big boy and he can miss you but kids missing their mother because you know listen I have no uh, foolish doubts about who my kids want at night they want mom you know, they'll take me as, you know, a, you know, second choice. But their first choice always is going to be mom. And I know that's the pecking order of my family. And it always will be. And it's a shame that your kids for 18 months now have, haven't had their mom asking, where's mom? Because you're picking him. And I'm not saying he's a bad guy. Whatever circumstances happen in your house that you got your kids taken away, something happened there and they were concerned about it. And I would suggest now that you've got these good positive results that you go back and you do whatever is necessary to get your kids back. I will. <laughs> Before you go? Hell yeah! Mom! Watch the Goldbergs tonight at 6 and 7 30. Did you ever try to call him or find him before he left? My phone was there, so. You got a charger in your car! No, I don't. No, your phone was so all... dead that you, it just couldn't turn on till tomorrow. Alright, so Vel, tell me your point of view. Dad, you said that he's ready to hear your side. Tell me your side clearly. Let's stop this narrative that I heard the gunshots and just like, oh wait, did he shoot? Oh no, I'm gone. Forget all that. Like, no, I really did try to find him. I really did try to see if he was okay. And you mentioned to me that you wasn't coming back with me anyway. 
Okay, then he went what? with his Wait, wait a minute. 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 Yeah. The reason this hasn't been resolved is because you're not taking accountability. I'm hearing it all through this. No accountability. There's no yeah. accountability. At the okay. end of the day, yes, you had a right to protect yourself immediately. No one here is going to question that. If there was a shooting, I don't know how I'm going to react. No matter if your phone was dead for five minutes, an hour, or a day, the minute your phone was charged, you don't wait to see a story and then respond to the story. That's cowardly. What you, you do is you say, hey, are you okay? You said you talked to Brittany the next day. It's immediate. Are you okay? That's all your friend was saying. This is all your brother was saying. He's saying you didn't care about if I was okay or not. Can you acknowledge that? Yeah. You see it. That's all it was. Can you tell your friend, your brother right here, I'm sorry that I did not check up on That's him. That's all you sorry. want is an apology in front of me? Okay, I'm sorry, Dan. Your friend always keeps going. They want a genuine apology. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, this is the thing. You just ruined it right there. Because the thing is, it has to be sincere. There was a shooting, and you did not check to see if somebody who was like family to you was hurt. Can you be sincere? Let, let me ask you something. If I was dead, would you be sitting here saying, well, I tried to look for him, and my phone went no, to No, because he no, did. No, 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 please, like, please, nobody, let, let him, if I was dead, what would your response be right now? Would you just be, oh, well, I tried to look, you feel like in your heart, you tried everything in your power to make sure I was there during a shooter where bullets kill people. Do you it's feel okay. like that? It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I, listen, wanna, can I, I really want to know the yeah, answer. No, I, but we already know the answer to that. He right. know, we know, we know the I, answer. I, I, and you know the answer. You know he'd be hurt. So right now, if you want to acknowledge the past and say, I'm sorry that I didn't check on you, that is the first place that you can start. But it has to be sincere. If you don't mean it, don't say it. Almost. Do you sincerely feel like I should have checked up on you and I should have made sure you were okay? Yeah, Daniel, okay. You still my brother. You still you still my best friend. So own up. You made a bad choice. Just tell him. Daniel <clears throat> I made a bad choice. I'm sorry I left you. I wanna move on from this. Can you accept that? I don't um, to be honest with you, it, it to me it's a it's a bit robotic because you're asking him to do it. Um, it's no, it's oh, fake. No, 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 I didn't know that wasn't fake. That was a real apology. He tried to find the words for you. I understand that you're gonna need some time to rebuild the trust. That, that, and I get that. That's, but the question was, I didn't ask you if you can rebuild the trust right now. I asked you, can you accept his apology? I can. I know it's gonna take time, but I, I know that. I, I forgive you, bro. Look at that. For there sure. you go. First steps. He forgives you. I forgive Give it up for that. He forgives you. Take the time to rebuild your friendship. It's gonna take some time, but y'all can get there. Let's he at least acknowledges that he messed up that night. Yeah. Don't let the gun violence tear y'all apart, all right? Y'all get there. Y'all gonna be all right. It was a sincere apology. Start trying to rebuild the trust, all right? All right, good. Listen, everyone, thank you for being with us. Come back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and growing. I love you all. remarkable as Philadelphia. The news doesn't stop. There will always be new places to discover and new information to share. PHL 17 Morning News will keep you in the know. Denver came here today and we asked them, did you ever have any physical contact with your son for your own sexual gratification? He answered no. Did you ever have any physical contact with your half-sister, Corinne, for your own sexual gratification? He answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that Denver told the truth. I am going to go home and talk to my son because I know he's not lying. And I'll, I'll say this. I don't know if it's appropriate for to be watching my show. I, I didn't do it on purpose. No, I, I'm not saying you didn't do it on purpose. But I, I just think can grasp, uh, you know, the meaning of a lot of the stories that we do. Um, it's above their head. Uh, especially with somebody, you know, with Asperger's or, you know, um, 
And your reaction about your daughter, he obviously she made this allegation against him, he's telling the truth. Any reason why she... I, I don't know, but we'll be on the phone and we'll be talking. What are you going to do with your life? I mean, this is good news for well, you, right? I'm, now that this is all cleared up, I'm going to, you know... No, I don't. Don't even look at me like that. If anything, you should be apologizing. Oh, I ain't apologizing. I'm not apologizing because I was being a mom. I was protecting my child. So okay, you know nothing about because you fell with that many times. So I'm not apologizing. Good job. You passed the lie detector test that you didn't touch him. But you're still a horrible father and you are still a... I'm just going to say Why this. Why talking? Because, you know what? Honestly, it's a two-way street. Hey, dude. Hey, it's a two-way street. Hey, listen. Listen. It's called respect. You might be angry, still show some respect. As angry as I was, I still showed you respect. I didn't come out here and knock you out. Okay? I do want to say to you, I, I mean, because I don't know what you're going to say to her. She, listen, she's involved in your son's life day to day. She's taking him to school, picking him up, doing all the things. She's there day to day. You're not helping her in any way. Then I'm not, I'm not helping her. Maybe she should uh, quit accepting the child support payments I'm giving her. The hundred dollars? Oh, oh child gosh. support that's court mandated, right? Uh, yes. As far as I know, yeah. We don't say her. <laughs> no. A hundred dollars. How far do you think that goes with job? Well, it depends on what you're spending it on. I spend it on it. I don't got to justify that to yeah, you. Okay. You just, you know, at some point you're 32 years old. Okay. Mm -hmm. When do you become a man? Well, I've got things I got to take care of, and I, sorry, but taking care of what you have to, like at home. But you know, but I'm. Listen, I'm doing the best you, I can. No, you're not. You're not doing the best you can. You have children in this world that you're not taking care of. And I'm sorry, $100 a month? That's nothing. That's nothing. Okay, I get that. But when the other man, even... phone call, that doesn't cost you anything. You go to your dad's, get on the, his FaceTime with him, and see your son. Make, make a semi-annual trip every two years to go be with your son. Bring him a baseball or football or something. Find out what he likes. When's your son's birthday? Okay, so this April, in a month from now, call him up. Buy him a birthday gift. How about that? Okay. Dustin Johnson, you've heard the hype. Live Golf just keeps getting better and better. Now the Live Golf season continues live on the old white at Greenbrier. As Taylor Goose looks to hold off Brooks Kepka and Cam Smith in the chase for the title. It's unbelievable. I'll fight hard. I'll fight hard. You gotta go out and win it. Live Golf Greenbrier. Live Golf. Saturday and Sunday at 1 on PHL 17. Watch, like, share, and repeat. Family members feuding and fighting over fraternity. A wild Mari continues. I want to thank all of my guests for joining me. I want to thank everybody who watches the show every day. I especially want to thank my live studio audience.
always 100% real. I mean, we have some moments that are unforgettable. You had 216,000 interactions, all romantic in nature. The truth hurts, but you still have to hear it. Weekdays at 1 on PHL 17. No matter what the weather throws at you, stay ahead of it with a PHL 17 weather source. With meteorologist Monica Cryan on PHL 17 Morning News. Nice to see a dry setup for the day today. And meteorologist Adam Joseph on Action News at 10. And when you see the sun, get out and enjoy it. Stay connected with the PHL 17 weather source. Online anytime at PHL17.com and the PHL 17 app. PHL 17 is the home to Billy's favorite comedies. And now it's the home to live golf. This isn't your grandpa's golf. It's golf, but louder. PHL 17, the home of live golf. Close captioning made available by. You've evolved. You've changed. So have we. That's why New Dove Body Wash now has 24-hour renewing micro-moisture for continuous care. New Dove Body Wash. Change is beautiful. A wolf in the wild and your dog both share a hunger for meat. So we've added 20% more meat to protein-rich Blue Wilderness. Go wild with Blue Wilderness. Now with 20% more meat. So we ended up having a good time after all. A little bit of learning and a lot of relaxing. In the end, it doesn't matter how you spend Dr. King's weekend, just as long as you remember how he helped us all make it to the mountaintop. This is exactly what I imagined heaven to be like. This is my hell.
Harvard School of Learning. Looking for something outside the norm? I have invented a new chess variant where the bishops can also move like knights. The Goldbergs and Big Bang Theory, weeknights starting at 6 p.m. on PHL 17. Wait, if it wasn't for Indiana Jones, the Ark would never have ended up at the warehouse. Oh, that's true. He collected and delivered the Ark to the proper authorities for filing. Like a hero. Yeah! Although technically, Indy was supposed to take the Ark to a museum to be studied, he couldn't even get that done. <laughs> doesn't have time to wait around. Don't let the weather slow you down. Stay weather aware with AccuWeather and meteorologist Adam Joseph with the most accurate forecast to keep you prepared. Meteorologist Adam Joseph on Action News at 10, part of the PHL 17 weather source. What's up, Erica? Want to go out to my Jetta and listen to a little exit stage left? Rush? That's like so last week. We're into the cure now. Can you guys like clue me in a little next time? This horse hair ponytail was expensive. Oh. Wow. Are you me? Got way too much fudge today. My heart was in the right place, Rose. I know. All I wanted to do was apologize. I had no ulterior motives. I believe you. Thank you. Did I ever apologize to you? You mean for our one night stand that kind of, sort of, broke my heart? Yeah, for that. No, not really. Okay, well, I am truly sorry. You're a wonderful person and you deserve better. Thank you, Charlie. That's sweet. I made mean it. What's that? Oh, this is one of those new, uh, web browser email gadgets. Lightning, hail, the strong wind. Spend your evenings with a team to trust at 10. Monica Cryan and Jenna Meisner are the Delco duo. The show that gives you free advice with the Delco spin. Saturdays at 11.30 after Weekend Filler on PHL 17. Brought to you by Harris Philadelphia, where Philly comes out to play. Here's what you missed on PHL 17 Morning News. Name another fan base that's going to wait in line at 3.30 in the morning outside the stadium just for a jersey drop. Listen to what your child says to you. Depending upon the age of the individual, you know, there are different pressures, social pressure. Some kids may even have a social anxiety. Goodbye to this set. We're going to be in a temporary set, and that means we got to clean out the studio. You know their names. Phil Mickelson. Dustin Johnson. You've heard the hype. Live Golf just keeps getting better and better. Now the Live Golf season continues live on the old white at Greenbrier. Oh! As Taylor Goose looks to hold off Brooks Kepka and Cam Smith in the chase for the title. It's unbelievable. I'll play hard. I'll play hard. You gotta go out and win it. Live Golf Greenbrier. Live Golf. Saturday and Sunday at 1 on PHL 17. <laughs> So go figure. Ever since the dinner, we can't stop talking like we're a fiddler on the roof. <laughs> Enough already with Epicoctus story. You're breaking my kishkas. <laughs> Oi. See, it's contagious. Now Steve just walked in. 
Was it Shakespeare? Uh, I'm such a schmuck. <laughs> playoffs is on and players are making their final push at the Wyndham Championship this weekend on CBS. For 200 bucks, I want a loaf of bread, or even if it isn't a, a full loaf. Okay, be right back. Jonathan. I'm going to talk to football man. Is it Dom? Yeah. Stand up for me, Dom. Yeah. I'm going to give you no. $300 if you can answer a football question. No help from the audience. I'm from the great state of Alabama. Alabama football has a two-word chant that they always say. What is that for $300? Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Joe's got bread. Joe gets bread. Congratulations, Joe. That's all the time that we have for Let's Make a Deal today. From Kat, Tiffany, and Jonathan, I'm Wayne. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time right here on Let's Make a Deal. Bye-bye. This is one of the few places you can go in America where strangers root for another stranger to do well. Come on down. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. Great prizes and fun. The Price is Right, weekdays on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Wednesday, America's biggest super fans meet their superstar idols yeah! and compete for a once-in-a-lifetime prize and the title of ultimate super fan. It is up to you, America. Super Fan premieres Wednesday, 9, 8 central on CBS. <laughs> Simon, we're going to start with you, all right? Uh, a dance floor, that's going to be fun. A uh, trip to Madrid and a Chevy Trax. You bid 31125 Actual price, 38274 Difference of 7149 Kimberly, your showcase is great. A trip to Alaska, VR set, and a travel trailer. You bid $33,549. Actual price is... 43,334. Difference of 9,785. Simon, congratulations. Go get it. Kimberly, nice meeting you. Man, Simon cleaned up. 
$92,932 in a day. Man, he really went to town today. Thanks for watching the show, everybody. Uh, please get your pets spayed or neutered. Help control the pet population. And take care of yourselves. We can see you next time on The Price is Right. Love you guys. Bye. Speaking for The Price is Right, a Fremantle production. Everybody work! The routers are ready. Go! It's a game of resumes. In this game, you're looking to make moves. The game is so volatile. It's psychological turmoil. <laughs> it's the greatest game in the world. The biggest season of the greatest game ever played. New season of Survivor, Wednesday, September 27th on CBS. CBS Reality Titans. Battle it out with MCV Challenge legends. Who has what it takes to become America's best? This is the Challenge USA. Don't have your turtles tickets yet? <gasps> Y'all not as cool as I thought you were. Oh, no, no, hey, man, hey, 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 we were kidding. Get your tickets now. Now play only theaters. Discover the perfect show to spice up your summer. Todd! So help me, Todd. Thursdays on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. I just want you girls to know there's no one that deserves this more than it's you. It's time to go. It was important for me to honor her. This is for you. We are literally raising the roof up in here. Yeah, Josh is, is like a brother. Isn't it? <laughs> Secret Celebrity Renovation, season premiere tonight at 8, 7 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Next week on The Young and the Restless. It's as much in your interest to keep the scandal buried as it is for me and Tucker. Phyllis is my client. It's my job to protect her. Even if it means some are taking the blame. Can we cash you in? I have one question. What's in it for me? It's Big Brother Multiverse Mayhem as worlds collide when a survivor legend enters the house. Watch out, America. You never know what universe you're going to see me in. And new Big Brother, Sunday on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. To make a lot of money... You sublet your apartment to Mr. Lippman for how much rent? A thousand. A little dishonesty? And you know that that's illegal to do Correct. that. Why did you do something that was illegal? Judge Judy, today at 4 on CBS New York. favorite CBS stars salute some very special friends <gasps> this is magic secret celebrity renovation season premiere tonight 8 7 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus <laughs> I think I cut a bus in half. Let's go! Blue Beetle, PG-13, August 18th. Everybody work! The robbers are ready. Go! In this game, you're looking to make moves. It's the greatest game in the world. The biggest season of the greatest game ever played. New season of Survivor, Wednesday, September 27th on CBS.
You ready? One, two, three. I have a family here at Cal Fire. Whether I deserve one or not. Man, I see. Man, the fire can't be stronger. You're gonna have to learn to believe in yourself. Why do you believe in me? Because I know what it feels like to be down. I need to do this for me. Let's go! Fire Country, Fridays 9, 8 central on CBS. And binge every episode on Paramount+. Plus. <laughs> Next Friday, I wanted to go all the way. We have to redo everything. Comedian J.B. Smooth. Drywall, drywall, cabinet, cabinet. That's all it is! <laughs> A new secret celebrity renovation. Next Friday at 8, 7 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Who will be the ultimate super fan? Super fan premieres Wednesday, 9, 8 central on CBS. Colbert's got Patrick Stewart. Tonight on the Emmy-nominated Late Show. Next, damage and debris everywhere. A crowd of thousands turns destructive in Union Square. What sparked the mayhem? A yellow alert as storms are moving through tonight. What it means for your weekend. Colbert's got Patrick Stewart. Tonight on the Emmy-nominated Late Show. Wednesday, America's biggest super fans meet their superstar idol yeah! and compete for a once in a lifetime prize. Oh, and the title of ultimate super fan. It is up to you, America. Super fan premieres Wednesday, 9, 8 central on CBS. Who has what it takes to become America's best? This is the Challenge USA. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for being on the show and good luck to you in the decisions you make. Uh, hope you can find some happiness. Good luck. You know, when the rent's due or the electric bill or the tab is run up at the grocery checkout counter, no one asks how or from where you got the money. Just get it and give it. It's how we function and nobody says, well, you can have the food for free this week. You were good. You didn't have sex for money. No, we demand the money for goods and services. How you got it be damned. Well, some would suggest for these occupations in the sex industry, they will be damned. But this, after all, is a free society, and as adults, we can make our own choices about how to make a living. So be it. But we should not pretend that choosing the sex business doesn't have its consequences. It does. Not always, but often it affects relationships, self-esteem, future career opportunities, even one's ability to fall and stay in love, and of course, one's health, mental as well as physical. It may seem exciting, and the money is good, but it's not enough to pay the cost. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. The Live Golf season continues from Greenbrier as Taylor Gooch looks to hold off Cam Smith and Brooks Kepka. It's unbelievable. You gotta go out and win it. Live Golf Green Briar. Live Golf. Saturday and Sunday at 1 on PHL 17. This is Kelsey Fabian. She's a Philly sports fan with a big heart for rescue animals. Kelsey gets to the heart of the story right here on PHL 17 Morning News. Weekdays from 5 to 9. Come experience the Steve Wilco Show live. For free tickets, visit SteveWilcos.com or call 1-877-74-STEVE. Man, you're listen, not honest it's not, to me. No, it's not now. It's not. I told nobody. you it's not gonna work if you're not gonna be honest to me. Man, I'm being honest with you. The only thing I probably didn't have the truth about was I touched some girls on the butt. You both had no, sex with them. You, uh, you didn't touch a girl on the butt. Maybe touch him on the butt because he failed for. Uh, <laughs> I, I, he, he, he can keep debating it. He keep lying to you. You've been beaten. You've been cheating on him. You've been, he's been cheating on you. The relationship has only been good for slightly over half of the 10 years. He still, he didn't want to even come out on stage. He didn't want to face you. What are you going to do? 
Man, I haven't slept with now one of them girls that's on that thing, man. Okay, right there shows you how much fight he has for you, right? Is he out here fighting for you still? I'm sorry. Here's the truth. I still love you. Make, I'll make a change. I ran off. What are you going to do now? And I want to see... I'm I want you to live tell my life truth. for me and my kids. Yeah, are you, going, are you going back with him ever? If you go back to him, if you think you're going to, then go out that door. If you're going to go and make a life so your daughter doesn't have to ask you, why is daddy hitting me? Being miserable 40% of the time that you're with this guy, then go out that door. fear or out of anger or am i terrified that my son is going to become another statistic and be dead in my garage i'm not going to be another junkie in your garage you didn't have the ability to say no to matt so why don't you want to go free man i feel like i'm muted i smell weed why do you think you don't need it i don't want you to die cole how am i going to die smoking weed because you do other stuff you have no control you can't i have out. control it's pressure before so addiction has been in you since you were 11 years old but once you have addiction in you from a young age it alters the way that you grow up as a young man mm -hmm. and so we're seeing that now your lackadaisical attitude probably the erratic behavior that happens later sort of the trust issues with your mom are valid because she's been experiencing trust issues and not able to communicate with you properly because you have been using since your own words 11 right um can you listen to that? 11 to 20, how old again? 24. 11 to 24, There's some you years. have been using, yet you say you don't feel like you need rehab. No. What in your mind, and I'm asking you directly, makes you think that you don't need rehab? Because I don't do this stuff no more, and my girlfriend just supports me all the way through it. But outside of girlfriends, outside of girlfriends, why do you think that you would be able to continue this journey? Because I'm watching you right now, and I think my son is feeling the same thing. Because going through this, until you make a choice that you want to get healthy, you're just going to be in the same cycle over and over again. Exactly. 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 No, I mean, that's, that's extremely true, bro. I, I did not want to go to rehab at all when I first heard about the idea, because I didn't think at first I was only using for like five years or so like that, so it was not as nearly as long as you, but I truly felt like I don't have a problem. But I was in a cycle for five years. That's That almost took away my life, bro. Like, I would hate to see or hear anything about you like that. Seriously. Me too. Do you, do you, do you value your life? I do. Do you? He values himself. Do you he value yourself? No idea how amazing he is. Well, mom, this is the end of the day, mom. I, again, this is one of the things about addiction and rehab is that the person who is addicted has to make the commitment. When I sent my son to rehab, I didn't force him. I said to him, either you have to make the commitment to go or I have to take a step back and not be in your life. Mm -hmm. And these are some of the sort of the boundaries you have to set with someone's an addiction. You're not setting any boundaries, mom. And I, and I love you and I appreciate you for wanting to be there for your son. But until you set boundaries with him and stick to those boundaries, your son is going to be in this cycle. The reason that he feels, and I, I know you're getting help for enabling, the reason he feels like he can do this and he can be callous about this and talk about this this way is because he knows mom is going to always be there to enable him. He knows mom is going to always be there to, to support him. Mom is always going to be there. And he's already heard the stories about his girlfriends. This is one of the things that we learn about, and just parents, period, but especially parents of kids who are of addiction, they've already heard us say the same things over and over again, that at some point, he's tuned you out. And so, he's tuned you out. He's nodding his head. He's tuned you out. 
So you're you're going through here stressing your life, saying, oh my mm -hmm. gosh, I want this, I want that. Please do better. Please pick this different girl. He's telling you he's not listening. So if someone's not listening, why are you still talking about it? Because I care. I don't know. But you know what is even more showing them that you care? Is saying, I'm going to care from a distance. You have to start saying to yourself, I love you, but I have to love you from this boundary. And I actually do think that it's going to help you. And the funny part is that as I'm saying this, y'all noticing, he's nodding his head. Well, go. I mean, if she's amazing, go live with her. It's not about her. Yeah. It's not about her. It's about him. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to tell you this is that as you're talking to him about his addiction, you can no longer bring up any of the girls. Because okay. it's not, it doesn't matter if he's with a girl that's on drugs, a girl that's sober. It's a personal choice that he has to make. And unfortunately, he doesn't want to make that choice yet. Any choice he makes is his own choice. It's nothing to do with you. But it's time for you to start making the choice. To choose yourself now. I'm trying. I really am. Once you set these boundaries, the only thing you ever need to say to him is, we can talk when you're ready to get help. That is the clearest thing you can say. I said it to my own son. I said, I'm giving you a choice right now, and if you don't want to take this choice, then we will talk when you're ready to get help. But if you keep going through the motions, nothing's changed the system. So right now, you need to turn to your son and say, son, we can keep talking. We can keep talking. When? When you're ready to get help. Thank you. Well, listen, I want to say thank you to everyone who's been here, my guests who have been vulnerable about their own stories. And I want to thank you all at home for letting me be vulnerable about my own story with my own family. Like I say always on this show, I don't expect my guests to do anything or talk about anything or show up unless I'm going to do the same. So y'all can trust that what you've been going through, I understand. Might have been a different journey, but I've been in your shoes. All right, everyone, before we end this show, I want to let you know if you or a loved one needs help with addiction, I want you to call the National Helpline for treatment at 1-800-662-HELP. And for more information on today's show, go to karamashow.com for exclusive behind-the-scenes content with me and my son, Jason, as we go a little bit more in-depth in our story. And also, I talk about the signs, what you can look for to really see if someone has addiction in your life. So remember, go to karamashow.com, you'll get all of this stuff. And I want to say thank you to all my guests again. And a special thank you to my son, Jason. I love you, Chris. For being brave enough to share story. So we can keep talking and growing. throws at you. Stay ahead with a PHL 17 weather source with meteorologist Monica Cryan and meteorologist Adam Joseph. Stay connected with a PHL 17 weather source. PHL 17 now available on YouTube TV. The story started out as for the song. Mm -hmm. But when everybody in the story is telling different stories mm -hmm. that leads us to where we're at now. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Because if you're saying, I'm with... Yeah, Billy, I was supposed to be here for support right. of the son. And she's saying, hey, I thought he was engaged to me. It's like, when did the right. ring come in? And like, right. we're supposed to be so, talking about the baby. So that's where, how all this ended up being together. Yeah. Bianca came here. And we gave her a lie detector test and we broke it into two parts. The first part is concerning the death of uh, your son. Do you know of any deliberate actions that caused your son's death? She answered no. Did you deliberately do anything to cause your son's death? No. The results came back the same to each question and they came back that Bianca told the truth. Thank you! Together. Okay. You should have defended me. 
We gave Bianca a lie detector test concerning the cheating. And we asked her, did you have sex with Malik after November? She answered yes. Did you have sex with Malik on January 4th? She answered yes. Did you or Malik end the relationship in November? She answered no. Did Malik give Nisi the engagement ring he bought for you? She answered yes. The results came back all the same. And it came back that Bianca told the truth. <laughs> I have to interject there. I know your feelings are hurt. I understand it. Let me be the voice of reason here. He and I, I believe maybe there was some stuff happening that maybe shouldn't have been happening. Oh my but you, if he has taken the ring and proposed to her, a woman that has been in his life and given him children for eight years, I'm certainly not going to question the the true meanings of it. I think he, no matter what, like he said, he said it best. Even though he moved on with another relationship, he always had feelings for her. Exactly. That happens. He, he that happens in life. But the thing is, now he's saying, and I'm certainly not trying to put words in your mouth. You want to be with her? Yeah, you want to be with me because and you I want to marry her. And you, you want to be? You want to marry so her? So then you look at her and say, I'm never going to be with you again. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait. Can you look at Nisi and I go sell her? Um, oh, wait. No, you don't even have to sell her. Because we know the results that you're a liar now. But at the end of the day, Malik, can you please let her know you was never trying to willingly leave my house? I had to have you escorted her. her I'm never going to be with you. I don't want to be with her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She's, she's a young girl. She's very emotional. Yeah. She, listen, I think we can all understand she lost a child and the relationship between you and her has ended. She's obviously not happy about that. And I'm sure there's some jealousy that he goes back to the woman that he was with and now loves him. Sorry for your loss. And, but I hope that you can find happiness in each other and enjoy your children and have a nice life together. Thank you. Thank you. continues live on the old white at Greenbrier as Taylor Goose looks to hold off Brooks Kepka and Cam Smith in the chase for the title. It's unbelievable. I'll fight hard. I'll fight hard. You gotta go out and win it. Live Golf Greenbrier. Live Golf. Saturday and Sunday at 1 on PHL 17.
Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and YouTube for more Mari, more outrageous footage, more original content, and more ways to interact with me and my guests. Watch, like, share, and repeat. An hour of DNA drama involving deception and people being double-crossed continues. I want to thank all of my guests for joining me today. I want to thank everybody who watches the show so faithfully. I especially want to thank my live Remarkable is Philadelphia. The news doesn't stop. There will always be new places to discover and new information to share. PHL 17 Morning News will keep you in the know. Modern Family is on at a new time. Wow, really? And we're keeping back-to-back -back episodes. I love it. All you have to do is stay tuned after Action News. We really are lucky to do Tonight, starting at 11 on PHL 17. When you were married, would you have said that Herschel was your best friend? <laughs> what married person would say that? My well, buddy Wayne. Does his buddy yours have kids? No. Then what the hell does he know? He's a very happy guy. He's exhausted. I should be going. Okay. You want to take a chicken for the smoker? Do I look like a vegetarian? <laughs> Mom, you out here? Um, I'll, I'll be married. I'm just getting the chicken. Do you need some help? Yep. I'm almost done. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. This is the 80s. People are gonna look back on our fashion and say they got it right. Taking stupid to new and exciting heights. Watch the Goldbergs tonight at 6 and 7 30. I can't believe I read this tape wrong. I blame you. Me? What did I do? Well, you distract me. I've been distracted since the moment I met you. Sorry. Well, you should be. That's all I can think about is how much I want to kiss you.
Okay, Troy's freestyle this one. Yeah, you know it's me, yeah, yeah. it's Big Tasty, the one and only, grabbing on the mikey, and I got the gravy, no, I'm gonna go a little bit shady, and we Ricky, Ricky, Dicky, Dicky, Rob, to the dime, yeah, you know me, always going kind of crazy with them lines, and I'm five, five, and yeah, you know it's Lady Baby, and we doing it, and we in the 80s, and we awfully, awfully, all night long, yeah, you know, no, no, when we singing that song, and damn, damn, PHL 17, now available on YouTube TV. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Sounds like somebody cracked up in the sock drawer last night. I'm going to ignore that because I am in such a good mood. Charlie, I don't know how to thank you. Well, you're actually breaking the sound barrier on your way out the door. We're staying up. I don't even care about that anymore. And that was best date of my life. I mean, to me, it was smart and funny and, oh boy, talk about pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I bet you rocked your world in a sack, huh? What? No, no, get, get your mind out of the gutter. We, we just uh, talked all night and then there was a little kissing. Maybe on our next date, who knows? But for now, I'm just going to play it slow. You're playing it slow? Yeah, yeah, I don't know where you found Camille, but uh, she's been old-fashioned. She's not like the ones you usually go out with. No, I guess not. Thousand dollars a night, and he's playing it slow. <laughs> You're a good brother, Charlie. He's playing it slow. <laughs> she demanded cash. He's playing it slow. I mean, we have some moments that are unforgettable. You have 216,000 interactions, all romantic in nature. The truth hurts, but you still have to hear it. Weekdays at 1 on PHL 17. You know their names. Bill Nicholson. Dustin Johnson. You've heard the hype. The golf just keeps getting better. Now the fifth golf season continues live on the old white at Greenbrier. As Taylor Goose looks to hold off Brooks Kepka and Cam Smith in the chase for the title. It's unbelievable. I play hard. I play hard. You gotta go out and win it. Live Golf Greenbrier. Live Golf. Saturday and Sunday at 1 on PHL 17. <laughs>